is Math 151, uh, practice test number one, problem number 3D. And uh, I'm supposed to find the limit of this function as x approaches negative 4. I notice if I try direct substitution, I'm going to be divided by 0. And this actually be 0 over 0. So indeterminate form. So let me manipulate this. And, uh, and I'm hoping to be able to cancel out that x plus 4. That's the problem. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rationalize that numerator. I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of this. That square root kind of pushes me to, to give that a try. It's a good hint that it's that type of problem. So x approaches negative 4. And this is uh, square root of x squared plus 9 minus 5 over x plus 4. And I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of this, which is just exactly what the first term says, x squared plus 9, and then opposite operator, so plus 5. And when I say I'm multiplying by the conjugate, I'm really multiplying by 1 just with the conjugate as that form. So let me do this multiplication. Um, limit as x approaches negative 4. Oh, hey. That was me laying my hand across this thing. All right. So uh, that times that is just uh, x squared plus 9. The middle term is going to drop out. Negative 5 times 5 is minus 25. And then the denominator, I'm, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to leave it as, as x plus 4 times x squared plus 9 plus 5. And I'm not multiplying it out because I'm hoping that this x plus 4 uh, that's right here will get canceled out. So uh, I notice up here um, x squared plus 9 minus 25, that's x squared minus 16 which is great. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of erasing here so I don't have to rewrite everything. So this combines to x squared minus 16. So that factors to difference of squares x plus 4 times x minus 4, which is a uh, dream come true, woohoo, because that divides out. So that leaves me with uh, the limit as x approaches negative 4 of x minus 4 over, and then what's left down here, square root of x squared plus 9, yeah, too big, plus 5. And now I can plug uh, negative 4 into here, and I'm just fine. So I can do some direct substitution. So negative 4 minus 4 divided by square root of negative 4 squared plus 9, square root of that whole thing, plus 5. Uh, negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. Negative 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. So I have 5 plus 5 in the denominator, which is 10. Uh, negative 8 over 10, that's negative 4 fifths. You could also say uh, negative 0.8. Both are beautiful answers.